Good day esteemed viewers and welcome back to our channel. Today's video tutorial is a follow up to our previous video on how to make perfume using alcohol as a solvent to dissolve other ingredients. The link to that video is in this video's description. For the benefit of those viewers who will prefer alcohol free perfumes, today's video is a guide on how to produce a very long lasting perfume that is alcohol free. Some people prefer alcohol free perfumes for a few reasons, starting with sensitivity to alcohol and skin irritation concerns. Also, those with super sensitive skin just cannot tolerate the drying nature of alcohol. Another reason might just be a desire for a more subtle fragrance which tends to have a longer lasting scent due to the absence of alcohol evaporating quickly. For this production, we will make use of basically two ingredients, isopropyl myristate and perfume concentrate. Isopropyl myristate is a common ingredient used in perfumes and cosmetics. It serves as a solvent, helping to dissolve and blend different fragrance components. Additionally, it can contribute to the overall feel and textures of a perfume formulation on the skin. Compared to some other solvents, isopropyl myristate is also known for being less irritating to the skin, making it suitable for individuals with sensitivities. This is the main ingredient that defines the perfume. The concentrate is the core formulation that imparts the desired scent to the perfume product. It is often diluted with alcohol or other solvents before being used in the final perfume product. This allows for precise control of the fragrance strength and ensures an appealing and long-lasting scent. Formulation for the production of 450 ml of a long-lasting spray perfume. Perfume concentrate, 200 ml. Isopropyl myristate, 250 ml. The ideal ratio of isopropyl myristate to perfume oil in a perfume blend depends on various factors such as the desired intensity of the fragrance, the specific characteristics of the perfume oil, and the intended application of the final product. Generally, a typical ratio might range from 1 is to 1 to 1 is to 3 for a balanced and well diluted fragrance blend. However, it's essential to conduct small scale trials and adjustments to achieve the desired scent strength, longevity, and skin feel for the specific perfume formulation. Before we dive into the procedure, please, it's important to follow the necessary safety precautions when doing perfume blends. Be cautious not to inhale concentrated perfume oils. If working with volatile compounds, consider using a mask or a respirator. Always bear in mind that most of these ingredients are very flammable in nature. Work where there is good ventilation and don't forget to store your products in a cool, dry place, away from heat or open flame. Step number one, carefully measure and pour 250 ml of the isopropyl myristate into the mixing container. Step number two, measure and pour 200 ml of the perfume concentrate into the mixing container.
The next step is to cover the container and give it a very good shake. Allow it to stay for two weeks or more for maturation to complete. Yes, fragrances undergo a process of maturation, commonly known as maceration. This phase is crucial in the perfume making process, ensuring that all the ingredients blend harmoniously. Finally, package your product in clean spray bottles, ready for use or for the market. Please, if you have enjoyed this video tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave a comment down below. Your feedback means a lot to us. Perhaps you have not also subscribed to this channel. Please take this moment to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you are always notified of our new videos all the time. God bless you always.